basal metabolic rate. The basal metabolic rate is the rate at which energy is produced in the body when a person is at rest. A 75 kilogram person of height 1.83 meters has a body surface area of approximately 2 meters square. Part A. What is the net amount of heat this person could radiate per second into a room at 18 degrees Celsius if his skin's surface temperature is 30 degrees Celsius? At such temperatures, nearly all the heat is infrared radiation, for which the body's emissivity is 1, regardless of the amount of pigment. Part B. Normally, 80% of the energy produced by metabolism goes into heat, while the rest goes into things like pumping blood and repairing cells. Also, normally, a person at rest can get rid of this excess heat just through radiation. <clears throat> Use your answer to part A to find this person's basal metabolic rate. So, we're talking about heat loss by the thermal radiation, which is given by Stefan's law. The net power radiated, uh, net emitted power will be Stefan's constant sigma, surface area A, emissivity E, multiplied with T to the fourth power minus the ambient temperature in Kelvins to the fourth power. So sigma, Stefan's constant, is 5.6 six six nine six ten to minus eight watts per meter square kelvin to the fourth power the surface area of this person is approximately 2.0 meter square emissivity is given as one it's like a black body the temperature of the skin is 30 degrees celsius 30 plus 273.15 which gives us 303.15 kelvin as the absolute temperature the ambient temperature is 18 degrees celsius which is 18 plus 273.15 that is 291.15 kelvin all right so we can calculate the net uh, power, net radiated power, that is the heat loss per second, 5.6696 times 10 to minus 8, multiplied by surface area 2, emissivity 1, then we have t to the fourth power, 303.15 to the fourth power, minus... 291.15 to the fourth power so this gives us approximately 140 watts which is 140 joules of heat radiated per second so the question was what is the net amount of heat radiated per second so that's what we have found here 140 joules per second is the net amount of heat radiated part b says uh, it's the 80 percent of the energy that is radiated so 80 percent of the energy consumed by the body is goes to thermal radiation 140 joules in one second so we find that the total energy that is consumed by the body, the rest 20% goes into pumping blood, repairing cells, etc. It's the net power radiated divided by 0 0.8, which is roughly 180 watts. So this is our basal metabolic rate.
All right. Okay, so let's summarize what we have done here. We're talking about the basal metabolic rate of a 75 kilogram person, height 1.833 meters with an approximate body surface area of 2 meters square. When this person's skin is at 30 degrees Celsius and outside temperature is 18 degrees Celsius, assuming an emissivity of 1 for the body, uh, we can uh, calculate the net amount of heat radiated per second. That's given by Stefan's law, sigma AE t to the fourth power minus ambient temperature to the fourth power. So we can put a plug in the numbers here. We have to be careful that the temperatures should be given in Kelvin scale. So all temperatures converted to absolute temperature. This gives us 140 joules per second. And then part B says, it's the 80% of the energy produced by the metabolism that goes into heat uh, provided by radiation. The 20% goes into pumping blood, repairing cells, etc. So a person at rest uh, can get rid of this excess heat just through radiation. So 80% of the total energy is 140 joules in one second, which means the energy is 180 joules uh, per second or 180 watts uh, so this is basically total energy uh, per second uh, that's the net power divided by 0 0.8 that is 180 watts this is our basal metabolic rate